What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Wolverine issue number 30. This is Wolverine's revenge. On a recent mission, Beast had secretly killed Wolverine and he had really interrupted his resurrection process, preventing him from regaining his full memory and cognitive functions. This leaves Wolverine guided by instinct over thought, with Beast making sure that Wolverine stays feral and isolated, using him as a private assassin, sending him on missions to really do whatever it is Beast wants him to do. But with Wolverine escaping, regaining his memories, he is now on a mission to find Beast, to make Beast pay and be rid of this evil once and for all. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, here it is, the issue that we have all been waiting for. Wolverine has just woken up. He is back to 100%. Now that he has all of his memory and his cognitive function is back to 100%, he has never trusted this island. Not for a very long time. When it comes to Beast, he has lacked a trust for him even longer. And for so long, Wolverine had been turning a blind eye. But after all of this, he is done with that. With Sage on the shore waiting for him, having clothes, boots, all that good stuff, suiting him up, getting ready for what is yet to come. Sage is letting him know that there is no just going after Beast. We can't just go up to him and kill him. Sage wants to do this right. She wants to do this by the book. Which means they have to find every single transgression he has ever done. They have to document it so that they can take it to the Quiet Council. That he must face justice. And Wolverine definitely not happy with this idea. He agrees to go along with it. As he suits up, they go out and they get to work. That is what takes us to a no place. We have Black Tom and the young girl. Maddie being the daughter of Jeff Bannister. Jeff Bannister being the individual that works for the CIA. Wolverine had given them a Krakoan gateway. Maddie came here looking for any kind of help. Looking for Wolverine to help with the Blue Man. And so they have her tucked away in this no place. Waiting for Sage and Wolverine to return so they can get a little bit of information out of her. Try and figure out exactly what is going on here. With Black Tom being the babysitter, he creates a little version of himself. A little bit of the island, a little bit of him. This entertains Maddie just for a moment. But we also see somebody sneaking in. That somebody being Beast. He lets in a tiny wasp. This wasp comes in and it stings Maddie on the neck. That is when she begins to foam at the mouth. She goes unconscious and appears that she is having a seizure. As Black Tom is freaking out, they take her to the healing gardens. With Dr. Reyes doing what she can to make sure that this child stays alive, Wolverine comes over and he is livid with Black Tom. Black Tom had one job to do and he failed. And Black Tom knows this. This is weighing so very heavy on his heart. After Dr. Reyes has done a little bit of research into this wasp, what they see is that this is a creation. This is a Krakoan mutation, possibly even biotech. But we know that Beast is to blame. There is no question about it. But what Wolverine asks now is where is he? Where the F is Beast? Telling Black Tom to make himself useful, he connects to the island and he begins to search. Sage looking at all of the gateways. None of them have been used, but that doesn't mean that he is not here, that he hasn't used them. We know that Beast has his secret gateways. Dr. Reyes promising that this child will stay safe. Wolverine and Sage make their way to Jeff Bannister's home looking for any kind of clues, any kind of evidence. But when they get here, what they see is that this house is up for sale. The Krakoan gate that was in the backyard has been destroyed. This is when Wolverine begins to piece it together. Jeff was a spy. There is always the probability 
that he was a double agent, that he was also working for X-Force, that he was also working for Beast. Wolverine believes that Jeff had trapped him, believed that all of this was set up by Beast and Jeff. And so with Sage doing a search of the area, they find some possible locations on where Jeff could be. After doing some investigation, it leads them to Fairfax, Virginia, an immaculate lawn, something that Jeff always prided himself on. Beer in the trash can, this seems like a very plausible location. As they get inside, they see that there is no one here, but a countdown mechanism has begun. With Wolverine grabbing Sage and them jumping out of the building, we see it go up in flames. This was just another trap. Obviously, this has led them to a dead end, which means they go to the Codex building in Baltimore. This is the shadow office of the CIA. Wolverine making a joke about how it takes an entire building of humans to do what Sage does. Sage making a joke that that would make Wolverine the equivalent to the entire United States Marine Corps. But with a man coming out of the office, Wolverine wastes no time. He jumps down and he starts threatening this guy. Letting him know that you're going to tell me where Jeff is. You're going to tell me where he went. Or it is going to be the last thing you have ever done. This is where we learn that he has been stationed at Langley. He just recently was transferred over. That is what takes us to the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia. We see that Jeff is here and he's not necessarily fitting in in the best way. Being more of a hippie, always wearing a Hawaiian shirt, always just an absolute mess. Miss Ramirez telling him that he needs to really shape up. He needs to get his act together. Later that evening, we see Jeff leaving in his car. As he makes the exit onto the road, we see that Wolverine is in the back seat, with Jeff trying to kill him, filling Wolverine's chest with lead. He ditches out of the vehicle and he goes running, only to run right into Sage. This is when Jeff is begging them to stop, to get away from him. Jeff is saying that he will kill the girl if he sees me with you, with Wolverine saying that Maddie is safe on Krakoa. This only makes him panic more, saying that she is not safe there. Trying to calm Jeff down, Wolverine lets it be known that Beast is going down, that this is all coming to an end, and so they need whatever Jeff has on him. He says that he is working with the X-Desk, and he is also working for X-Force. He has been working for Beast, but Jeff lets us know that after Wolverine had been killed, Beast had said that he would do the same to Maddie unless Jeff did what he said, apologizing to him. This is where we see Jeff take a couple of bullets to the chest. With Sage taking care of Jeff, we see Wolverine jump into the wood line. Sniffing out where this might have come from, he finds a rifle, and then he sees Beast running away. Obviously knowing that he can't outrun Wolverine, he stops. He turns around, with Wolverine asking, is there anything that you would like to say for yourself? Do you want to quote some philosopher, spit out his intellectual argument, try to justify this away? B says that he has nothing to say. That is when Wolverine takes his claws and he jams them into the brains of Beast. Wolverine has finally got his revenge. But that is what takes us to the point. A room that is known only to Beast. Looking very sinister in this laboratory. We see the auto backup activate. And what steps out is a newly resurrected Beast. He knew that this time would come. Now it is here. And everything is about to change. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This is exactly what we have all been waiting for. The confrontation, the conflict, it is finally beginning. While we believed at the end of this issue it had been solved, we knew that Beast had some tricks up his sleeve. And if you had checked out the issue of Timeless, which is really just letting us know what we're going to see over the next year in Marvel Comics. It showed us a small glimpse of Beast with an army of clones of himself. 
That simply could be a metaphor, or this could mean that Beast is about to create an army of himself. After this issue, it has me more leaning towards it being a metaphor. Not that there is going to be a literal army of beasts, but that he has the capability to resurrect himself over and over and over again, unknown to anybody else. Nobody on this island is even aware of this facility, is aware that he is out here cloning himself. And while Beast was out here trying to cover up all of his tracks, trying to make sure that there was no evidence that could be brought against him, at this point, Wolverine and Sage have caught him red-handed. The evidence is more than apparent. His transgressions, they are all out in the open. And so now Beast is desperate. It is time for him to enact his final play. What that play is, is still very much up for debate. Is he going to try and scheme his way out of this? Is he going to try and get rid of all the members of X-Force and just restart? Or is he going to plan for something bigger? Is he making his play for absolute control of Kokoa? Is he making his play for the King of Mutants? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get caught up on everything going on with Wolverine, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this story. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon having 5 different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month. Not only does this help out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you are unable to do that, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.